Hey, and welcome to Breakfast in Barbados. And again, we're at the beautiful Santosha in St. Andrew. And today, coming up from Brighton Stokes, we have Danielle Broom. So we're looking forward to talking to her about Lipton products. But we have Chef Tosh. Hi, Chef Tosh. Hi again. How are you doing? I am wonderful. Good to see you again. Yes. What do you have in store for us this week? Well, this week, I'm going to do a Bajan breakfast, uh, Bajan Eggs Benedict. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be using products from Brunswick again, some more tuna products. And then also, we're going to have some bread from Purity. And also, we're going to use some stuff from Anchor. So, Brydon's is involved in this as well. Okay, just give me a little, little detail on what Eggs Benedict really is. It's a poached egg. Mm -hmm. So, it's an egg lightly cooked in um, rolling water. The water is just like nice and steamy. It's not boiling or anything. And I'm going to put that on a bagel. Mm -hmm. And it also, it's going to have some Anchor cheese, mm -hmm. some herbs locally grown, and a, a nice homemade hollandaise sauce. Ooh, that sounds really good. Is it? Okay, so I'm going to come over with you later and I want to see you go through some of this Eggs Benedict step and see if I can do it because I cannot do a poached egg. I think that's public knowledge now. I cannot. Well, you, you'll know how to do one at the end of this show. I challenge you to teach me. Yes, All challenge right, accepted. So we'll be back on Breakfast in Barbados. Breakfast in Barbados. Take a moment to L and Veer with your options of Yago, fruits, and 0% fat yogurts made from real milk using real fruits. Distributed by Supreme Distributors. Welcome back to Breakfast in Barbados. And as promised, I have Danielle Broom from Brighton Stoke. She's joined us today, and it's all about Lipton's today. Welcome, Danielle. Thank you. Okay, let's talk about Lipton's. Lipton's is like a household name in Barbados. It is. When you go into anybody's house, they ask you, want a cup of tea? You're getting a Lipton tea. And there's nothing like a cup of tea. And for those of us who have some, some English blood background, or you need your cuppa in the morning and in the afternoon. <laughs> so let's talk about the... the um, Flavors basically that you have. The most popular one okay. is this one. The, well, first to start, Lipton tea can be divided into three categories. Mm -hmm. Main categories we have the black tea, which is this one. We have a herbal tea, which is in a pyramid format. Mm -hmm. And we have the green tea. So the most popular tea we have will be the green teas. Okay. Well, most popular new one we have will be ah, the green teas. Ah, the okay. most popular remains as the regular yellow label, which is a normal black tea. Okay, because when you say black tea, it sounds like a, a brand new. Flavor of I guess tea. because everybody is accustomed to tea being a, tea, a black tea bag. You mm -hmm. add in milk and your sugar. So mm -hmm. they know they have the herbal tea, they have the green tea. So now we differentiate it into black teas, green teas. So like a black tea could be our spicy tray tea, but this is the most popular one. Okay, now you're, you're using some terms that I'm like, <laughs> what do you mean by pyramid format? Okay, we have this new, um, well it's not new because it's been on the market for a couple of years. So we have our herbal teas and a few of our black teas in a pyramid tea bag. Mm -hmm. So it's infused with flavor. Oh, literally the ship. It's uh -huh. literally a pyramid. That makes sense now. Yeah. Okay. So that's available in our spice tray, our English breakfast, our Earl Grey. Okay. Yeah. Now, do you find, Barbados is obviously a tropical island. Do you find a lot of people love tea? Before, like a couple of years ago, tea was breakfast. I, I have an English background. Mm -hmm. So my mother, she drinks tea morning, noon, mm -hmm. night. But I know working with tea, working in the office... I find there's a growing culture that you can drink tea anytime. And it is an Indian tradition. People always say when you're hot, go and drink a cold glass of water. Mm -hmm. But it's an Indian tradition to actually drink a hot glass of tea, get your body temperature up, and then it cools you right down. Okay. And it does work. 
Okay. So I could drink tea no later tonight. And it tastes really, really good. Well, yes. let me actually zoom in on you personally, because this is the brand that you represent. So you got yes. you got to go around. What does a typical day look like for you, Daniel? Um, depends on in office, out of office. Um, in office, normal reports, stuff like that. But going into the actual supermarkets, making sure that this is on the shelf, this is on the shelf, that you could actually, it's actually available to everybody. Okay. Um, it involves a lot of promotions because we do a lot of trials because um, you know what black tea tastes like. So mm -hmm. We don't really sample that. But we would sample the green teas because we have a various, um, we have flavors. So we go in supermarkets and we would sample green teas. We would give out dry samples. Um, crop over this finished. So we gave about 10,000 samples of green wow. tea. 10,000? Yes. You, you're doing it every day. You don't realize it actually adds up. But all the, a lot of Kadumat bands came to us and they got samples of green tea for their patrons. Mm -hmm. um, and it adds about 10,000 tea bikes. Wow, that yeah. is a lot. That is a lot. Uh, at events, we were sampled. We did um, UV breakfast party. That was a big one. Mm -hmm. We sampled the tea there. We have the tea available there. Um, we also tried doing, while well, we're starting to try doing some cocktails with tea. Okay. So it's like a, you make a green tea, cool it, and you can spike it. Add a little Bacardi rum, add a little rum to it. Mm -hmm. One of the things that I tried recently that really worked out well was a cupcake with a tea flavor. Okay. Yes. And it works out really, really well. But I heard of people um, using the black tea by steaming it and using it as a marinade. I you actually watched her show and did that, yeah. Well, you mentioned a little bit about um, crop over, and I understand a little birdie told me that you have, it, it's very personal, not just from the tea point of view. So yes. let me know what you've been up to. Um, crop over, I am um, Danielle from Island Fusion. It's mm -hmm. a four-day morning band. It's one of the biggest four-day morning bands. And being the brand manager for Lipton Tea, we are sponsored by Lipton. Mm -hmm. So our breakfast... Features Lipton green tea. So when you finish your jump, you come over, over to Razors and you get a hot cup of green tea. Okay. Um, before the jump in your goodie bag, you give you samples of green tea. So every year you get different flavors to try. Mm -hmm. um, we even gave out the black tea because the younger people try the green tea, but then we want to remind you that we still have the black tea. You add the sugar, add the milk. Okay. Why is green tea so popular now? Um, you know, health is popular. Mm -hmm. Losing weight is popular. Being healthy is popular. Green tea is high in antioxidants. And mm -hmm. it's also... We don't require you to add sugar to it, so it has a good taste profile. So instead of drinking a glass of juice, you could actually drink a glass of green tea, low sugar, less calories. And also green tea, we have decaffeinated and caffeinated flavors. Okay. So if you don't want any caffeine, you could have a decaffeinated green tea. So you don't want that, that, that hyper thing that going That buzz, on. yeah. I'm not, I'm not sure I'm ready for tea without sugar yet, though. It yeah. is. Well, when we do sample it, people always say, really sugar, mm -hmm, really mm -hmm. milk. And then they taste them like, oh, a nice refreshing flavor. And it's light. Okay, okay. Tell us about availability across Barbados. I know for sure the black tea. Well, you asked me about my day-to-day -day job. Mm -hmm. So I said it has to be available in stores. Mm -hmm. One day we went to Moon Tong. We went That's to in St. Lucie, people. Yes, we went to a small <laughs> convenience store there. And we were saying, let's see if they have Lipton tea. So it was it. Maybe not. Mm -hmm. We walked in and there was a big display of Lipton tea. Mm -hmm. So at most stores across the islands, big, small gas station, supermarket, Corner store, you will see the 20 pot of Lipton black tea. You will see coming up more the green tea and peppermint tea, but you will see green tea most places, most restaurants, it's available. Well, you, people might be thinking, or sometimes I even think, well, how hard could it be to just go and put some of these in a store and all kinds of things like that? But, but actually putting tea. together yeah. a, a promotion and, and it has to look right. What part of that do you actually deal with making sure that? Lipton, your brand, is represented well. Well, we have, this will be in most stores, but our challenge is getting, because you know Barbados, there's a whole wide availability of other teas. Mm -hmm. So we have to convince stores, try this, consumers want this. So mm -hmm. we have to get this in the shelf. And then we promise them, when we get this into your store, we're going to sample it because their consumers want to taste it. So that's part of my job. Okay, fantastic. And as you can see, we're with Chef Tosh, and he's going to be using some of these fabulous ingredients. And, of course, I have Danielle with me. We're having our Lipton's tea. And there's another product that you're responsible for as well, Danielle. What's it's that? It's actually the Ronzoni pasta. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm a pasta lover, so tell well, me about the different types of pastas you We have, have some new lines of pasta. We have a, if you look at it, we have a purple box. It's a smart taste. It's actually a regular pasta, but more fiber. Mm -hmm. We also have the green box, which is the Garden Delight. It's actually mixed with um, vegetables. Mm -hmm. So for kids that don't like to eat carrots and stuff plain, that's infused with vegetables. Okay. And we have here, I see on his counter, the new Ronzoni sauce. So this is pretty using, new to the market. 
But we're using, this is the sweet onion marinara. So what are you going to be using that for? So I'm going to use this as a sauce for the um, eggs benedict. Mm -hmm. One of the um, garlic sauces. So we have here some onions and sweet pepper. I have some garlic in there as well. And some tomato. I'm just going to add this to it. And I'm telling you, it smells really delicious. Really good already. You need to get out of your way, chef. No, not really. But also I have an egg here poaching. And you say you wanted to learn how to poach an egg. Do you really want to try this now? You sure? <laughs> oh, it's easy to I do it. want to learn. Absolute disaster when it comes to poaching eggs, but you know, you're the expert. So if I fail, that's fine. Well, as you saw before, I had mm -hmm. the water here just rolling. And I crack the egg in the bowl because you do it separately each time. And then you just pour it into the bowl and you usually have a strain of some sort. And this one will cook for a little longer, but that's how it's supposed to look originally. Okay. So we just give this here a couple more minutes. Right, so you need to have vinegar. Right, you need to have vinegar, but mm -hmm. I don't have vinegar today. So I'm using the Dines 100% uh, apple juice because you really truly just need to offset the pH balance of the water to get a nice perfect pH balance. Now that's when cooking gets all scientific and things like that. So you <laughs> see, I would, never have, I would never have known that, Daniel. Never have known that. I would <laughs> to just use figure, juice instead. Wow. I would just said, I have no vinegar. I can't poach my eggs. <laughs> that's looking good already, Chef. Smells even better. So this can go on the side. So that's going to be used as a garnish. It's just going to be used as a garnish on the side. So, so we're have, using bagels again. We're going to use the pretty bagels. So this one is going to be blueberry. Now once again, although this has in fruit, we can still have sweet and savory together, especially around breakfast time. Okay. So um, Danielle, it is. Yes. Right. She says she doesn't use. She's not going to use cheese. So this one won't have on the cheese. And then we're just going to have a basic uh, garnish for it. Mm -hmm. And then. Then also, I'll be doing a tuna as well for her. How do you go about putting things together, chef? Because, you know, sometimes you have what seems like random ingredients in the house. And, you know, you just give you stuff and, you, and you're there. You just do it. How do you well, go about you putting experiment, it together? You experiment. You experiment. You also have to use your memory to try to remember how things taste. And you have an idea how a spicy Thai tuna would taste, chili. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be, you know, be nice and acid, spicy. Mm -hmm. So that's going to counteract now with the blueberry bagel. Which will balance everything will balance out, out in, in case you're not... Okay. Then just take the egg. Now since you're using purity, you are looking at the um, bagels today. Yes. But if you just had simple sliced sandwich bread mm -hmm. from purity at home, this is yes. something you could do. This is something even that if you, you can don't do have as well. Bagels. Yes, you can. Right. This will make you look really special if you have guests. Daniel, how would you feel if you showed up at somebody's house and they served you like something like this? Awesome. It looks like a breakfast yeah, one, cafe you know? <laughs> type yeah, meal, yeah. Fun. But it seems so full in like no lunch after this. <laughs> I'm loving this show because I'm, I'm picking the brains of some of the great chefs, right? Big Hollanders. Okay, so this is the best time of the day. This is when you get to taste it. So, Chef Tosh, tell us what we have. Right, we have here the Bajan Egg Benedict. Mm -hmm. So we have um, the Purity Bagel. We have the Poached Egg. Then we're also using the Brunswick Tuna, the Spicy Thai mm. Pepper. We have my fake Hollandaise made from the Swiss mayonnaise and uh, mm. mustard with the heavy cream. We have some pickled cucumber on the side. Oh, wow. That is really good. And then we're also using anchor cheese as well. So you've got everything in there. Everything, everything. And she's using, and uh, Danielle is eating her bagel, um, her poached egg with a blueberry bagel. So she's getting both sweet and savory at the same time. Very good. Hmm. Well, it went back for seconds, so. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you very much, Chef. We'll be back with Abigail Brown and we'll be talking about Brunswick when we come back here on Breakfast in Barbados. Breakfast in Barbados. Make it great, make it Brunswick too.
and we are back and I promised you we would have Abigail Brown and she's going to be telling us all about Brunswick products. Good morning, Abigail. Hi, Carol. How are you? I am wonderful. Good to have you. Now, let's talk about Brunswick products. And I think probably, for me personally, the tuna is really well known. So It is. Um, the tuna is one of our best sellers, especially right now, the tuna with oil, the tuna with water. Mm -hmm. you know, people have their options. And we've really branched out with the tuna selection because it's it's growing so fast. You know, we have the ready-made tuna, mm -hmm. uh, the spicy Thai, the tuna with garlic, you have tuna with lemon. And we've recently introduced our new skew, which is the tuna with sweet corn. Now, you see, actually, I didn't know that. I did not know that. And normally, I like tuna with corn, but you always have to put it in yourself. Exactly. So, so this one is, it's flaked, it has corn in it, and mm -hmm. it's in like this little kind of like a tomato sauce mm -hmm. thing going on so it's it's right there for you to eat it's like open it and eat what is your most popular um flavor basically um the spicy thai right now is mm -hmm. selling off the shelves really good um the corn has taken off well as well and we will be introducing a few more later down you know so people have a variety and more things to look forward to and it's not as cumbersome as which is also tastes awesome, you know, the tuna with the mayo and the traditional right, right. paste for mm -hmm. sandwiches and crackers. This is just giving people a variety. And where you can just take it out, get some crackers on your own, have it for lunch, exactly. especially if you're on it's the grab fast and go. Pace. Like I have one for mm -hmm. breakfast every morning, just pop it in and the spicy eat my one? Of the spicy one that every a, morning. That's a little hot <laughs> for the morning. You have one of I those stomachs. I love my stomach. spice. <laughs> oh my goodness. I, I, I like it too, but I don't know if I'd have it for breakfast. Well, my favorite one, believe it or not, is the chunk but with water because I like the fact that it's a pretty neutral base to start with yep. and I can build on top of that. I do a reverse one, two, three using tuna. Oh, nice. Quick meal, quick meal. It is. There's so much you can do with it. You know, mm -hmm. it's the versatility of the product is mm -hmm. phenomenal because people use it to cook. You don't have to cook it because you can mix it with the ingredients and just eat it plain. Um, I recently started going to the gym and trying to watch what uh -huh. I eat. Okay. And for me, it's like cucumbers. Like I just slice cucumbers and I take the same chunk in water and just like top it, put some like onion and lime in it. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Because sometimes they tell you that when you're working out, just have a tuna salad, your salad base and just put exactly. plain tuna nothing else on the top so that and really works like it's such a good source of protein mm. that's the best part but moving off the tuna we also have a big sardine selection mm -hmm. now sardine seems to you know re register a little more with the older demographic mm -hmm. persons who um need the protein intake and the other you know fats and all the good stuff that the mm -hmm. sardines have but recently we've started a promo island wide where we're sampling sardines and i have this lady ardith who's working on the paste for me mm -hmm. she did such a good paste i don't i a mean sardine I'm, paste yep i'm not a, okay. a avid eater of sardines i would eat it sometimes mm -hmm. but when i she gave me some to taste and i was like this is not what what did you do <laughs> So it's just to show, like, once you mix it with the right ingredients, it can taste just as good as the tuna paste. Because mm -hmm. um, so you've got some people who traditionally, like my mother, she would just pop a, a can of sardine and just eat it like that. Mm -hmm. She would just cook white rice sardine on the top. And I'm like, uh, no, that doesn't work for me. <laughs> for me, I have to pop the can, open up the actual sardine, take out every bone and... You know, because some of so, us are like yeah, that. Yeah, and each, each of us have our different tastes. Mm -hmm. But what we try to do with the brand now is uh, introduce, like, sardines and sauces. Mm -hmm. So you don't necessarily have that, um, the natural taste of the sardine. You know, it's mixed and it's infused with okay. other flavors. So, like, here I have the sardines in a um, mustard sauce. Okay. So it's been marinated in mustard, and all you literally have to do is add whatever you need to do, give it more or spice it or just gravy or eat it like that. Okay. You get it in tomato sauce, there's Louisiana hot sauce. And for the health pe people or people who are into that lifestyle, we have sardines in spring water. You will even get in spring water with no salt added. So it's okay. just it's just protein in a can. Just pop it and eat it. That sounds really good. And it's convenient. It's very That's convenient. That's what I love about them. And speaking of convenience, one of the things that attracted me to Brunswick the first time was the pop top. Mm -hmm. Believe it or not, how tiring is it to have to go look for an opener and all those kind of things? And, it's true. and when you're on the go, so I think that's a great um, addition that you guys have. Correct. Because you just go. it's very convenient, and we're moving out of that. Everything has to be convenient for the consumer now, you know. Thank so you. anything that makes your life easier, we're there to do it. So it's like mm. <laughs> okay. Well, I heard you say you use especially the the spicy Thai mm -hmm. in the morning. Do you cook with it 
any other ways as well? You can, you know, it's it's pretty good to make like gravies and stuff as well because it has that spice and tomatoey flavor, the acid going on there. Um, it's also, there are other flavors like the tomato basil and mm. those kind of things. I know my mom does like, kind of like a shepherd's pie, but oh, she'll okay. use tuna with it and then she bakes it with cheese on the top. So it's like tuna, potato and cheese and there are lots of creative things you can do. Actually, we have a website, uh, Brunswick, mm -hmm. um, www.brunswick.ca and once you go on there, there are tons and tons and tons of recipes that you can yeah, That's really convenient because sometimes you th you're thinking of it, oh, what can I do? Yeah. And you end up doing the same thing over lots and over of it. again. And with Brighton Stokes, you can check us on social media as well. There's uh, Brighton Stokes on Facebook, uh, Brighton Stokes Limited on Instagram and we're always posting recipes, fun tips, things to do and you even get an insight onto like our promotion where we are supermarkets so if you if you're a person who may buy the sardines in mustard sauce but you're iffy you want to try it first mm -hmm. we, they're sampling for that you know there are different locations they're at so once you're on the on our social media page you can follow us and go to whichever location we're at and have a try before you buy you know so what promotions have you got coming up so that well, coming out to crop over, actually, I know Daniel would have mentioned tea was huge. Mm -hmm. uh, the tuna was also really big during the crop over season because, you know, everybody's trying to get their body fit and their body fine. So our tuna sales and sardine sales were <laughs> <laughs> off the roof. It's convenient. It's also convenient. It is. So it was that. Uh, we did sponsor a few bands where we gave them mm -hmm. uh, some of these small tunas the flavored tunas where we put them in the goodie bags so people could get a little, a little taste and a sample of that uh right now we're doing our sardines promotion where we're trying to get people reacquainted with sardines and mm -hmm. the, the different things that you can do with it they have a sardine stigma type thing with this a little bit mm -hmm. a little bit but we're trying to break that now you know there are so many ways that you can you can use the product and we're trying to show and highlight the versatility of it um and i think our next our next a real big season would be like Independence Time where people okay. would really use like the mackerel with the cuckoo and uh, some people even use sardines with cuckoo. I know it's not the national dish, but <laughs> it is an option, you know. Um, mackerel and tomato sauce with cuckoo yeah. works. It I know, really, right? Really it, it's really good. And Brunswick has a, the mackerel and tomato sauce mm -hmm. option or you have a mackerel and oil. Mm -hmm. So if you want to make your tomato sauce from scratch and just add in the mackerel fish, that's your option as well. And then for people who don't like mackerel, there's the canned salmon. So, you know. Works. It all works. I'm going to tell you how Brunswick saved my life. Well, not to save my life. That's being a bit <laughs> melodramatic. Let me not hear the story. I had an event. Um, the girls were going to, you know how you get, get together with your girls and then you all decide that you're going to bring something. And I was working and I couldn't decide what I wanted to do. And then I said, I need something really quick, really easy. And I went into the supermarket. I was going to just do something with my normal Brunswick tuna mm -hmm. in oil chunk. But then I saw the spicy Thai. And I had some wraps at home. So I had um, cream cheese as well. Right. So I had this cream cheese. I put lots of herbs in it and spiced it up a little bit. Put it on top of the wrap and then put the spicy Thai on top of that. Rolled it. Put it in the fridge so it could kind of set. And then I cut it up. Fancy. And it looked almost like sushi. Oh my goodness. And it was really, really, everybody was like, oh my goodness, where'd you get these from? I made them. So <laughs> that is my short story about how Brunswick Spicy Thai saved the evening. <laughs> We're, here to, really We're here to make your life easy. And that's, that's good. Mm -hmm. I mean, just to show the versatility and the different things that you can pair it with. Like who would have thought like Thai and cream cheese, but it tasted good, didn't it? It works really, really well. But you got to remember, if you're going to try it, roll it first. Put it in some clean wrap, put it in the fridge, and then you slice it. Good idea. You should you should try cooking next time. <laughs> <laughs> you could be chef. That Carl. sounds vaguely <laughs> familiar no, no, from someone coming that way. But we're gonna leave the cooking to the real chef right. because when we come back, we're going to Chef Tosh. He's gonna be doing something fantastic for us. So sounds stay good. with me, Abigail. We'll be right back on Breakfast in Barbados. Breakfast in Barbados.
Himalaya spices have been flavoring the pots of Barbadians for over 25 years. Available island-wide at all eating supermarkets, MIS spices come in a wide variety of flavors, like black pepper, Cajun spice, bacon bits, crushed chili flakes, coriander powder, cumin powder, curry powder, basil leaves, celery salt, and blackened spice. Celebrity chefs and mixologists use MIS spices to enhance the flavor of their creations. MIS products, making it special for you, for you, for you. Breakfast in Barbados. Well, we're back. Breakfast in Barbados with mixologist David Barker. So, mm -hmm. what are we making now? Well, we are making. Well, I haven't. I haven't come up with a name for it yet. Ah. You see, what happened is that I ran in the supermarket yesterday, and I said I'm going to pick up some fresh fruits and mm -hmm. pair them with the dimes juices. So, let's start. The blender, I got a couple of these pitted. My favorite, I love cherries, love I cherries. So yeah. anything with these kind of cherries, good. Mm. Then we're gonna add the peaches. Just draw everything together. Remember this, remember these smoothies is, are a drink that when you're on the go. Okay. You get all packed with the vitamins, packed with the minerals, okay. packed with everything you need to get, get through the day. And along with my man's here meal, let me tell you, you'll you, you will have a fantastic day. Because sometimes it's really hard if you don't make the effort to get your fruit and vegetable in, vegetables in, you won't do it. No. It's so when you do it in something like this, you get practically everything like you need for the day. Pulp. And it's easy. I and love it. As you realize, I have not added any sugars. And that is what is important now as we are going through the society and we are being more health conscious. Mm -hmm. So I'm using the Dimes 1% juice and no sugar at all going on in here. We're gonna just add this, add some ice, blend it up, and we're done. Okay. Yeah? All right. And it's quick and easy. Yeah, you quick and easy. So what add kind of juice two is two ounces this? of, this is the Dimes grape juice. Right. Look, no sugar added. I like it, I like it. All right, I'm gonna add some ice on top of that. And I think you asked me before um, if the ice should go in first or, mm -hmm. or last. I always thought, I just put well, mine at the bottom. To, to be honest with you, if you add the ice first mm -hmm. and you got all the liquid on top, sometimes the, the chunks of ice um, stick in the blade. Oh, and that's why you can probably burn you know, out your Yeah, blender. you blend out, the, you burn out the blender, you hear the blender, the blender Working hollering. Working extra hard, yeah. okay, I got so, you. Whereby you get the liquid and some of the fruit puree, and then it eventually comes right up to the okay. ice. Yeah. All right. Cover this down. <laughs> and that color is beautiful, as you yeah. realize. So you see, it's always the beauty is always in the garnish sometimes. Mm -hmm. Despite, despite anything, you gotta look on that and say, oh yeah, this looks good. So I got some nectarine and peaches. What I'm gonna do is just do some little wedges. All right. And this is of course, if you're a mixologist like yourself. Not you necessarily, really anybody can do, do wedges. I As mean. they say, nobody got time for that in the morning. For breakfast. <laughs> I'm blending and drinking and going. Yeah. But I like it, you know, cause you might want to show off for that special someone. You know. You never know, you never know. It might be a special time. If you're celebrating. <laughs> All right, we're gonna pour this over. Left a little bit, just in case somebody around here needs some. <laughs> and go ahead and nicely garnish it right around with each of the fruit. I love the consistency of the drink. It's nice. Oh, you see, still, you know, it's fruity, so it's yeah, gonna be exactly. light. This. So you're creating like your little fan type look. Yeah, right? that fan type look. And then you're afraid to drink it because then you're destroying your fan. Nah, that is all right. I'm mean, gonna pop a cherry right in the middle. Bam. Wow, that's very pretty. Yes. Okay, so it's time for us to taste. So Abigail, you get your breakfast first. Mm -hmm. So Chef Tosh, tell us again what this is. Right, this is uh, another remake. This is not the full cherry. So I'm using the tuna de Brunswick, tuna with um, garlic and pepper. Mm -hmm. And I have a, had a, a, a fried egg, fried right fruit, fried hard. And I still have the same Brunswick tomato marinara. We also have the fake hollandaise from before. We have some nice fried tomatoes, some pickled cucumber, and the plain bagel. So 
but we're going all over a complete breakfast going over. And we yes, also have some really MAS is. black sesame seeds. I love it, I love it. And the thing is about this one, it's even more approachable to someone out there who's thinking, I can't do poached any poached egg. egg. You right. said this one is fried, fried, but it looks really professional. Love it. Okay, so, David, this drink. I mm. cannot think of a name, but it looks really good. I want to taste it. So now all we need to do is figure out a name for this drink. Yeah. So to me, it's fruity, it's light, it's, it's breezy like Santosha. Yeah, they call it Fruity Santosha. All righty then, that works for me. Mm. Well, thank you very much, Abigail. Thank you, David, again for joining You're us. You're welcome. And that's it for Breakfast in Barbados. Bye-bye now. Morning's here.